Hi, this is Luana Lacone Winner, and before we get started on this painting, I'm going to use a little gloves in a bottle to protect my hands from the oil and um, products that we'll be using here in the studio. Just need a little pea-sized bit, rub it well in, and so let's go. Hi, I'm Luana Lacone Winner. I'm a portrait artist in Raleigh, North Carolina, and you may have seen some of my things on the web at winnerstudios.com. Today we're going to be doing a quick hand study. This is not going to be lengthy, but I do want to give you some basics about drawing hands. No different than painting anything else that, that you paint. You just have to break it down into smaller parts. Don't let the hand get too complicated, and don't let it get the best of you. Look at it for a moment, and you'll notice that the back of the hand tends to take on a bit of a squarish shape, more of a trapezoid perhaps. Each of the fingers becomes a series of a rectangle. And then the next section of fingers becomes more of a triangle. The thumb from my direction is dropping down next to this. And the wrist coming off of that in this direction. Now, let's break this down one more time. Think of this as more of a rectangle, maybe a lopsided rectangle, another rectangle, another triangle. Pretty simple in the beginning. So, let's look at some shadow areas. We're going to divide the fingers, but not like little sausages. We don't want them to, to appear too separated. So, we're going to keep her hand nice and relaxed, but we're going to give a little more attention to one or two of the fingers because they're in the light. So let's just dry brush some of this shape in. You can hear my brush on the canvas. It's very dry. It doesn't have very much paint on it at all. All right. We're going to look at the shadow on this side of the arm, wrist, and hand. The most important thing to remember about the hand is to keep it fairly relaxed. Don't let it get out of control. All right, here we go. Let's add a little local color to the back of the hand. Notice that this knuckle is coming down a little further than the others. The beauty of the fingers and the ease of the fingers is to keep everything simplified. Press down, pull back on the brush like that to give a nice plump finger right there. Another one right there and another one right there. You can see how quickly this hand is coming together. Now in the shadow, I'm seeing just a little bit of reflect, reflected warmth in this area of the thumb on the shadow side of this finger. Now let's go back into the shadows on the finger with a little cooler color and a little slightly lighter value. We're just going to repeat the shapes that we've seen keeping them fairly tight together and a little warmth on the inside here. Usually hands are best off when you don't overwork them. This is a quick, free art lesson. We'll see you again next time.